If you install the new Microsoft Edge, or if it gets installed automatically by an update from Microsoft, the old Microsoft Edge will disappear. If you want to run both browsers side by side, you can follow the instructions in my video to achieve this. You have two situations. Either you already installed Microsoft Edge, the new one, the Chromium based one, or you didn't yet install it. In case you installed it, please follow the instructions on the videos in the description on how to remove it, because you need to remove it before applying the tweak that I'm going to show you now. Here, I'm considering that you already removed it and you're going to apply the tweak that I'm going to show you now to run them side by side. Open your web browser and go to the following address, microsoft.com slash edge slash business slash download and hit enter. In the channel version drop down list, choose the latest one. In the select build, choose the latest one. And for the platform, choose depending on the platform of your laptop or on the platform of your PC. Here I have Windows 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to choose this one. And here, careful, do not click on download. You need to click on Get Policy Files. So click on Get Policy Files. Click on Accept and Download. You can close this one. And here, save the files. Wait for the download to finish. And go to the folder where they were downloaded. And here you need to extract them. To do this, you can right click and choose Extract All and click on Extract. These are the extracted files. Now you need to open a folder under the C drive or under the drive where you installed Windows. Here it is the C drive for me. So click on the C drive, double click Windows, scroll down until you arrive to policy definitions, double click it to open it. And here you need to copy two files. And then later we are going also to copy two files here. So go now to the extracted files that you just downloaded. Double click Windows, double click ADMX, scroll down and choose these two files, msedge.admx and msedgeupdate.admx. Select them, copy them, and paste them in this directory. Choose Continue. And now, depending on the language of your Windows installation, so here I have English US, I need to copy also the English US here, files in this folder. So select them also, copy, and paste them here. Also, you need to click on continue. Now you can close this, this, and the browser. In your search box, click on it and type GP edit and run the program edit group policy. Under computer configuration, administrative templates, click on it to expand it. Under Microsoft Edge update, click on it to expand it. Click on applications. And under applications, you see here that you have this setting, which is allow Microsoft Edge side-by-side -side browser experience. Double click it and choose enabled. Click OK. And here you can close your GP edit window. And now let's go and install the new Microsoft Edge and I'll show you how to run them side by side. 
open your web browser and the URL type microsoft.com slash edge if you have an automatic fill like this just remove it and choose only edge and here install the new Microsoft Edge so I clicked on download accept and continue and I'm gonna choose run to install it if you are prompted choose yes so the installation program will download the new edge and it will install it automatically just give it a minute to install so this is the new Microsoft Edge was installed we still need to pin the old Microsoft Edge which is now called Legacy Edge as you're gonna see so let me close all the browsers and close the old one also and here as you saw the new Microsoft Edge was installed to find the old one you can click on start and scroll down to the letter M and you see here that you have now Microsoft Edge Legacy you can simply right click on it choose more and choose pin to taskbar and here you have the two edges so let me start them both of them so that you can see how they start and they can run side by side this is the new one I'm starting it and now let me start the old one or the legacy one as they call it now and you see here that I have both of them running at the same time and they are available at the same time one last note is that this configuration I just showed you it applies to all the users of your computer so if any user that is using your computer wants to pin the legacy edge next to the new edge they can do it that was all I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.